Assalamualaikum and hello guys. Our topic for today is gravitation. We are going to explore into two subtopics. The first subtopic is gravitational force and field strength. In this subtopic, we are going to state the Newton's law of gravitation and define the equation for gravitational field strength. Another subtopic is gravitational potential energy. In this subtopic, we are going to define gravitational potential energy. The gravitational force states that every object attracts every other object with an attractive force which is directly proportional to the masses and inversely proportional to the square of separation between them. This is called Universal Law of Gravitation. Any object with mass will exert gravity force. Even we ourselves have our own gravity. It is that gravity exerted by everyday object is completely negligible compared to gravitational force exerted by the Earth. Suppose you have a book and a pencil both lying on the floor. Do they actually start moving towards each other? According to the universal law, the book and the pencil should be moving towards each other. But in actual, this doesn't happen. Why? This is because the force which they are attracting with each other is too small. The motion of the planet in circular orbit around the sun is understood that the centripetal force causing this motion. It was precisely the same force that causes the objects to fall down towards Earth. We call this gravitational force. Gravitational force Gravitational strength is a measure of gravitational force placed on object that is in gravitational field. The moon orbits around Earth and stays there because of this gravitational field. If we place it in orbit, we can see how the force on the two objects remain constant. The gravitational field strength is the same. Newton's law of universal gravitation allows us to quantify magnitude of gravitational force. If we have two masses, there is going to be gravitational force between the two and that is always going to be attractive with anything in mass. The equation to quantify the magnitude of gravitational force equals to universal gravitational constant g time with mass of the first object time with mass of the second object divided by the square of their distance. Bear in mind that this constant like any other constant simply exists so that the natural phenomena like gravity can be expressed in their own arbitrary unit and is equals to 6.67 times 10 to the negative 11 newton meter square per kilogram square. This will cancel out unit in masses and radius to give the value of force in newton. Gravitational field strength It is defined as gravitational force per unit mass of a body placed at a point. Gravitational field strength also known as gravitational acceleration or the free fall acceleration. From Newton's second law of motion, F is equal to ma, the gravitational field strength equation can be expressed. Gravitational field Gravitational field defined as the region of space surrounding a body that has the property of mass. Field line shows gravitational field around an object with mass. Any object that has mass is going to generate gravitational field and those field lines are going to point to the center of that object. 
If you want to calculate the gravitational field strength, you can use this equation. This equation was developed by Sir Isaac Newton. There are three things in this equation. The first one is gravitational constant, the mass of the object, and the radius from the object. Gravitational potential energy. Gravitational potential energy defined as the work done by external force in bringing test mass from infinity to a point. To calculate the gravitational potential energy, we can use this equation. You may be troubled because it states that gravitational potential energy is always negative. We have chosen gravitational potential energy to be zero when the body of mass is infinitely far away from the Earth, where R is equals to infinity. As the body moves towards the Earth, gravitational potential energy decreases and so become negative. Now, it's time for quick test. What did Newton conclude about the force that pulls apples to the ground? and the force that holds the moon in orbit? The answer is gravitational force. Come to the second question. The acceleration of the moon depends upon a. Gravitational force exerted on the moon by the sun B. Gravitational force exerted on the moon by the planets C. Gravitational force exerted on the moon by the earth D. Gravitational force exerted on the earth by the moon The answer is C, gravitational force exerted on the moon by the earth. Last question. Above earth atmosphere, there is no earth gravity. True or false? is false. Thank you for your attention. Till we meet again. Bye.